Concrete is in. While well, that's getting last bit of concrete mixed, I'm getting all the space stuff down as much as I can around here to get this all levelled out. So it's nice and flat for building the block work tomorrow. That's what a pain this is. You've got this, you've got this alcove here, and it steps in and steps in again, and then you've got your door. So you've got a corner, 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 corner. So, customer was digging to get this cable sorted, and found. That Sort the battery out for me. It's on the floor. Yeah, it's filming. <laughs> First off, let's turn that down because I'm sure YouTube will pick up that one volume. But anyway, 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 good morning. It's the day after. Um, the camera died, and obviously, as you knew, as we mentioned yesterday, it was quite a hectic day trying to get stuff sorted. So we're here today now with the charge camera, and there you go. We actually got all the brickwork in, which was a shock to me. The way the way we were going, I thought we would just be um, getting it, at least getting it slab ready and then <coughs> thank you and then getting uh, the bricks in today <coughs> thank you if none of you say bless you in this premiere I'll, uh, I'll come and find you all uh, but yeah so now obviously the plan is get it slabbed the um, customer was digging to get this cable sorted and found that uh, the void where the electric is so we've We've stuffed some plastic in there just to keep it. Stop all the hardcore. Yeah, stop all the hardcore going in. And now we're we'll just gonna back it up with hardcore. Get this. Um, put a sleeve on that. Yeah, put a sleeve on it because this one's not armoured. And then get the rest of it in. We've yeah. actually got rid of our buckets. We've oh. got our pipe for our vent. Oh yeah, pipe as well. Sorry. So that's gonna get, need to get knocked down, and then just feed that pipe through. And then the step gotta come out. Yes. So we can get insulation in. But yeah progress today and nice just fill it fill it up and get it slabbed so we'll get you set on time lapse while we do that In, in case you missed all the time lapse, Dad wants you to uh, have a, an update. The steps out that uh, vent is taken out and the bricks dropped. Um, pipe has been cut for the vent. I've also cut some slits so it will just slot right in. Um, hmm? We've got two in it. Yeah, that wants two in. Yeah. So uh, now it's uh, ready for a whackering. Excellent.
it's whack of the first layer down. Now we've got the ventilation pipes in. Dad's going to go get some sand so we can do the sand blinding and um, and then um, what else was it? Oh yeah, to get a brick in there and probably get that um, hair cap on as well. Get that wall finished off. So while he's doing that, I'm just going to finish up. I've got this cut down to go in that gap just to stop all the hardcore spilling through. So that's cut down and ready to just nail up um, and just fill it up with more hardcore. I'm not touching that wacky yet because uh, I'm scared of it now after my burn. Bloody that thing. Anyway, I'll uh, throw you on time lapse somewhere just while I uh, get this prepped until that comes. Where I went the other day. They, uh, I think it's only them and berries do half ton bags. A dinky half ton bag. It might not be enough for um, building a sand, but we don't like one half ton left over. So, so while I've been away, Alex has loaded our car in. I'm hoping we've got enough left for the concrete, but I'm not. I'm not too um, confident about that. I think there's a well over half a tongue on in there, so I'm now about to sand blind it. Just need to put a few bits of paper or bag down there, stop all my sand disappearing down the cavity. And then um, we're ready to start prepping for concrete then. Uh, we'll just probably just put a piece of um, piece, piece of plastic or piece of board over there. Um, or I might just lob a couple of bricks in. And that once all the whackering's done, but there's the pipes and there's the there's the hole, so that's fine. Might even not cut a piece of insulation, just slot slot in there actually. It's only to stop the uh, the screen and the concrete from pushing in. Once the concrete's gone off, it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to get this levelled out now, get it whackered, and then we're ready to start prepping it.
time. Oh, it's just uh, putting bricks in that hole. That's sorted. There's nearly a piece of facial board across the bottom there, so to stop anything falling into there. I've put some plastic down the cavity to stop that falling down there. So I've just got to shape this, this screen as best I can now, ready for the insulation, which is around the corner. Around that corner. And then uh, before that, I've just got to cut some cold bridging strips. We're going to use this um, this 50 mil, cut into 200 mil strips, then cut it down now. So I've got 25 mil strips. And there's our 100 mil for the floor. So yeah, still a lot to do yet. And then we've got to slab it, but um, the slabbing doesn't take that long. So um. Yeah, okay, we'll keep going. Let's get this cold bridging strip sorted. Right, after lunch, it's a, uh, so, it's what a pain this is. You've got this, you've got this alcove here, and it steps in, and steps in again, and then you've got your door. So you've got a corner, 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 so. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten corners instead of, is that a square before corners? We've got ten corners, which is more than twice as long to do it. And that's just the rough stuff underneath. I've got to go over it again now and get it spot on for the uh, the concrete. And uh, it's after one o'clock now, so I think we're going to be another late one here. Let's assume we don't run out of stone, which I think we will. It doesn't have to come all the way up the wall as long as it comes past the top of the insulation. So, piece for there, piece for there, and we can get this top of the screen on. Jesus, she's a drag this. It's deceiving. But it's, it, it's, if you're doing it properly, it takes that tax time. So, um, right, we'll go back in time, that's why I finish this off.
straight, coming up for half two, and we're, we're spinning. God, that was, that was so awkward, that. It doesn't look it, does it, but... No, it doesn't look it, but... Let me just point out, we've got internal, external corners, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I suppose if you count the externals, there's even more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So there's 12 corners to go around. Oh, it took so bloody long. So anyway, first mix is in. And the sun is about to leave us and head over the house, which is good when you're concreting. You don't want sun blazing on your, con on your fresh concrete. So Alex is at mixing it for me. He's just doing four to, four to half a bag more half mixes and the mix is a lot quicker then it's not spilling out the mix and going all over the place so yeah this is done by for today and then tomorrow is block of doodle do uh, oh yeah that, that's that's all taken off Alex has done that that doesn't even bother us that that's where Robbie's gonna be fitting the frames and I've allowed for, I've put knock on to allow for the render and we just need a bit more to come off that side where the light is. But that's, the light's getting moved, socket's getting moved tonight. That light's staying on because it's not in the way. But um, customers are making everything safe tonight. So we've got the uh, armoured cable there. That comes out under uh, concrete level. And there's also this data cable. Well, it's an alarm cable. That goes down under the, under the floor as well. So this house is going to feel a lot so much warmer. A lot less draft here. So um, yeah, made up with it. So um, yeah, there's no need to film this bit. We'll take the time lapse of it and then we'll film it towards the end. Quarter past three, I reckon. Yeah. 
There you go, we're running out of stuff. It didn't, wasn't looking good when I came back and how much has been used in the foundation, in this hardcore. And we're still there, uh, pretty low. Yeah, and we still put, we used two and a half barrels of sand as well to bring it up. I've completely um, got this one wrong. It's, it's a lot deeper than I was expecting. And it does, I mean, the last job we had, we used all, we either got any in hardcore because we used what we dug out. And we've also put insulation as well, so we didn't dig all the way out of it, did we? No. And the floor was lower. Anyway, it is what it is. It's, it's, it, we're short, so it's either get half a ton, which we don't really want to do because there's a quarter of a ton of sand in the van, or get bags, and it's getting the right amount of bags. We go to sell the 35 kg bags, so it's roughly three bags to mix. I mean, I reckon it's three full mixes to do that. I think it's off to Selco. I'd rather get it loose, but it's it's either way, it's a hassle. And then school traffic now as well, so it's going to be take yeah. twice as long as it should if do. You got the, if you got the, the, the loose stuff, the, uh, the grill tubs would back already. Back in. Well, those two grill tubs in the garage wouldn't have helped us, would they? No. Yeah, so looking back now, I should have got a ton and a half to allow for um, hardcore. That's where we've lost it in the in because we had a ton, and a ton is more than enough for a slab that size. But uh, it just took more hardcore than we expected, than we than we'd hoped. So, right, now you're standing here looking at it. I might as well go and get the stuff. Can't go back. We can't both go because the customer's gone to the dentist and the house is open, so we can't leave the house. So um, yeah, let's get going. I'll see you when I get back. And it and it's. Quarter past three now, so let's see what happens. Half an hour, just about. So, while well, I was getting the last bit of concrete mixed, I'm getting all the spare stuff around as much as I can around here. Get this all levelled out. So it's nice and flat for building the block work tomorrow. Um, maybe block work tomorrow, maybe a little, we'll see. So, um, right, let's get this stuff shifted. It's, um, it's after four o'clock now to serve so Cox on the radio. So um, just keep pushing on. We'll get in there. That's ready for trying up that bit, and then um, we'll get this last little thing in. So yeah, a bit more time lapse, and we'll get back to you in a bit. Concrete is in. Thank goodness. Just the fettling now and the tidying up. Yes. And we managed to get the whole half ton out of the van. Thank God. So we're not trying home with it tonight. <laughs> which we were going to do with the sand and the sand's out as well. Mm. So we've waited a bit longer but we've actually done quite uh, it's actually done us okay. Yeah. There you go, it's like dead so just fettling around now, that's been tamped and trowled. Trout, not been trial yet, has it? No. But uh, so he's just gonna get that bit now. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm knackered, so.
It was a lot of work, a lot of time, should I say. But we got there. It's a, it's a new freaking porch, isn't it? Hey? It's a new bloody porch. <laughs> Never underestimate a porch is the lesson of today and uh, the fact that you're sat so out is like a bit of a giveaway, isn't it? Yeah. But there we go. So now it's all block work from here, no bikes. <laughs> Just block work, square and flat. So that will be the end of this video then. We'll see you there, see you there for the block work. Thank you very much for watching this one. Saga. Epic saga. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. So we good? Are we done? No. Oh, cool. That way you always know when we upload. It's a massive help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support you want to give there is a super thanks under the video or the paypal does in the description that's not necessary by any means that's just an extra way of supporting us as the uh, i want to say content creators with a uh, quotation marks <laughs> which is always massively appreciated but this has been proclaiming with stephen alex with a tough porch slab and we'll see you in the next one